Hello and welcome to Behind the Lines. I'm Diane Dayton. Today we're going to look at some great bed and breakfasts in our area. We're going to talk to the innkeepers and take a look at the actual inns. With us, first of all, we have Rebecca Gallagher. Thank you for being with us. Thank you for having me. And you are the innkeeper of the Smithton Inn. We are. My husband and I bought the Smithton um, just last June, almost a year ago. Okay, and you're located right near where we are, where our studios are. Yep, right in Ephrata at the corner of Maine and Academy. So it was uh, a real prominent road taking people between Lancaster and I guess it would have been Harrisburg, um, Hershey uh, mm -hmm. area. So it was a well-traveled road, good place to put a, an inn so people could stop on their way to see the cloister. And how old is the actual inn? The inn was built in 1763 by Henry Miller, so it's 247 years old. Okay. Now this is a new venture for you. How did you decide to do this? You wake up one day and say, I want to be an innkeeper? <laughs> you know, my husband and I both grew up in the Northeast, um, and our jobs, our careers took us to Texas. And um, But we both love old homes. So I never really saw myself as being an innkeeper as much as someone living in this wonderful house. Uh, and we wanted to come back to, to the Northeast. Um, and my husband found this inn on the internet from Texas. Wow. And so, uh, so we found it. Um, the economy actually helped us be able to purchase this. The economy in Texas wasn't doing as, as badly as the Northeast. Mm -hmm. So uh, we were able to finally afford the move back home. And, um, and buying this inn, of course, it's, it's a dream for us to be able to live in a place like this and just such a lovely home and lovely community. But it also brought us back to our friends and family. Yeah. Now your background is in? It's in corporate marketing in the oil industry. Um, but I was doing a lot of corporate events in the oil industry. So I was always taking care of customers and guests and making sure that people were comfortable. So it, it really wasn't such a stretch of a, of a career move. Okay. Um, and, and the fact that I had the marketing background, of course, helps to market the inn. Indeed. So tell me a little bit about what we're going to see at the Smith Inn. Oh gosh, it's, it's a lovely building. Um, with just so much character, which I think is, is what drew us to it to begin with. Um, the walls are 18 inches thick, so there's these deep window sills. Every single guest room has a working fireplace, mm -hmm. and there's a fireplace in the sitting room and dining room as well. Mm -hmm. um, there's just, I think the thing about all B&Bs, but especially the Smithton, is that it, every room is so unique. Um, they're spacious, so you, you you don't feel like you're crowded or, or um, crowded in, and, and the the beds are are tall, and mm, each one's mm -hmm. unique. Some have canopies; they all have hand sewn quilts. Um, so it's really an experience. You're you're not just looking for a place to stay for the night when you stay at the Smithton. You're probably looking for um, for just a, a unique experience, something to really enjoy and savor. Yeah. And I, I think at the you know, each inn is unique, um, and I think what we strive for is to to combine that historic charm with sort of modern comforts and conveniences. Mm -hmm. So we have um, flat screen TVs and DVD players in the rooms, okay. and iPod docking stations of the you know alarm clocks and things. So, um, so you don't feel like you're staying in a museum. Okay, sure. And you have got younger children too, right? I do. I have an 11-year-old son who um, is mostly playing baseball um, when he's not in school, and uh, and I think he really enjoys the inn. It's it's mm -hmm. interesting to see him interact with our guests. Mm -hmm. um, what's even more interesting is our dog. Uh, mm -hmm. the, the guests love our dog. <laughs> it's become quite the inn mascot. Right, that's fun. What will we find on that breakfast menu? Oh gosh, I, everything for the most part is homemade. We have our own homemade signature granola, um, homemade yogurt, always an assortment of homemade muffins um, and breads, fresh bread every morning, um, and assorted juices. So we, we have that spread out every day. Uh -huh. and, um, and then we have a, a plated hot meal that's uh, sometimes it'll be um, Bananas foster or pancakes, mm -hmm. or uh, uh, a baked French toast with apples on top. Uh, I make a mean frittata. Mm -hmm. I, I love polenta. Um, like it, so, the Italian. I I tell our guests that they're lucky that I've embraced my Italian heritage right. um, rather than the Irish. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> That's great. So it's been almost a year for you now. 
Has it been everything you were anticipating it to be? Oh my gosh, more. Okay. I, I think my husband and I, every day we pinch ourselves for how lucky we are. Um, every guest that comes in, it's like a, getting a Christmas present every day. Mm -hmm. You never know what they're going to be like or what their experience is, where they're going to be from. And, you know, we get to meet them and spend time with them and learn about them. And I, I think half the time guests leave and my husband and I just look at each other and we could be friends with them. There, it was, we have as much fun as, as our guests do, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, that's I mean, it's, I, I, I think we've never worked as hard in our lives, um, but it's never been so fun either. So mm -hmm. it really, I guess there's that story, what if you enjoy what you do, you're always on vacation. Right, so you work a day I'm always your on life, vacation. Right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so do you have help? Who, tell, talk about the staffing. I do, <sighs> the best help ever. Um, our housekeeper, Judy, actually came with the inn. Um, the, the previous innkeeper had her, so she's worked at the inn for 17 years, which mm. brings a fantastic continuity. Um, she knows how to run things so well. So she runs um, the housekeeping side of things, and I take care of the breakfast and the marketing side. And so we're both doing what we enjoy, yeah. um, what we're good at, and so it, uh, it, it ends up getting done very well. Um, she just has such a sense of pride in taking care of the inn, and, mm. um, and it shows. Yeah. That's key. It is. Yeah. Now you have a website too. We do. It's um, the smithtoninn.com. So www.smithtoninn.com. What are we going to find on there? Um, you can find uh, the, of course, booking online reservations, pictures of the rooms. You can see what's available. I think in some ways, what's even more fun, and well, you can see links to, to reviews, guest reviews on um, websites like TripAdvisor, BedandBreakfast.com. Uh, but another place you can find us is on Facebook, mm. which is kind of fun because it's more interactive. So we've had guests go and post on Facebook um, how comfortable our beds were and where can they buy them. Oh, and okay. you know, where can I find those sheets or could you please tell me the recipe for that granola? And, and so we post recipes, mm -hmm. we um, put pictures up. Uh, it, it's just an opportunity to be interactive with our guests that makes things kind of fun. So. Yeah, it's an it's another way to 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 find out about the inn and and I think get a personal like maybe that emotional connection. Mm -hmm. You know, a website gives you a bunch of information, but I think the Facebook gives you more personality. Okay, yes, yes, you're right about that. There's something unique about a bed and breakfast, isn't it? The experience other than staying in a hotel. Absolutely, I think every single one is different, um, which I think makes staying in them all so fun. Um, the innkeeper brings their own personality to bear. Um, the the building itself, um, the town it's in, I think they all. Um, lend themselves to the unique experience. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is. And there are different times of the year, during the week. Talk about when you're open. Well, we're open all the time, 24-7, um, um, all year round. Uh, and, and I'm glad. It's, it, different times of year are different. Mm -hmm. And it's funny, the, in the summer, um, in fall, we're very busy with guests uh, and taking in everything there is to offer in Lancaster County. Um, in the winter, we were much slower, but it was fun because we actually get to know our guests a little bit better than we normally would. Mm -hmm. uh, and it, of course, in the winter time is when you get to enjoy those working fireplaces. <laughs> yes, indeed, indeed. So, what would you say to someone watching who would consider and they're thinking about, well, maybe I should check this out at the Smithton? Yeah, I think one of the things that surprised me is just how many locals ah. do weekend getaways okay. or midweek getaways at the local B&Bs. There's some wonderful B&Bs mm -hmm. in the area. And um, what a great way to do a staycation, uh, you know, to stay in your own town. Yeah. Why should tourists be the only ones having all the fun and right. enjoying right. these wonderful, you know, inns, um, but also the tourist attractions, um, the effort of Cloister, the Green Dragon. Um, you know, there, there's just so many wonderful things to see and do. Yeah, there really are. And with your personality and with the warmth that you have, I know coming into the Smithton and seeing you is really oh, a nice sight. Thank you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's a beautiful place, and I wish you much success with this because you're just in the beginning of your journey. Oh, right? we are, and we're enjoying every bit of it. Yeah, that's wonderful. Thanks so much for taking time. Thank you. We're going to take a brief pause, and we come back, we're going to find out about another beautiful bed and breakfast in our area. Stay with us. 
Today we've been talking about bed and breakfast in the area, and a bed and breakfast is a wonderful idea. What's so important about that we well, need to know? Well, what you need to know about bread and breakfast is that it's a good choice. It is a, it is a legitimate lodging choice whenever you're traveling anywhere. You will often get a better service, a better quality of stay than you will, um, than you might at some other places. And you definitely will know more about the area when you leave than, w than you would if you stayed somewhere else. There's a lot of attention to detail. A lot it? of attention to detail. Rebecca. Yeah, I think it's important for people to know that um, that the days of the shared bathrooms are gone, <laughs> um, that you can cool. have a lot of the amenities that you'll find at, at a big hotel, like hair dryers or irons or mirrors. Wireless um, internet. Wireless internet. Um, but have a unique experience. And, and you shouldn't let that uniqueness make you afraid. Don't be afraid. Embrace the uniqueness. Mm -hmm. um, and there's mm -hmm. websites out there like TripAdvisor and, mm -hmm. and Yelp and um, Bing that, that offer people the ability to write reviews. Mm -hmm. And so you don't need to go and stay at a bed and breakfast blind. Uh, you can really mm -hmm. find out a lot about them. Find the mm -hmm. one that suits mm -hmm. you. The, mm -hmm. They all have a personality. Exactly. Mm -hmm. It's a good point. It's like a pair of shoes. Not everybody's going to be a good fit, right. but there's there's one out there to fit everybody. And you were saying we have, what, 150 mm -hmm. in Lancaster County? Lancaster County? Now, that includes your guest houses and your mm -hmm. farm stays. There's some wonderful farm stays where people can take kids and they can milk a cow and do all that kind of stuff. Um, a totally different experience than staying at a Smithton or a Swiss Woods, but it, it meets it meets a niche and that's the that's the beauty of the bed and breakfast industry you'll find lighthouses you'll find I mean there's everything you can think of out there yeah there really is yeah and I mean in you know, we, we all I think you said like to take care of people and guests there's different styles of cooking mm -hmm. um, sometimes you'll get the oat cuisine and the really fancy truffly mm -hmm. things mm -hmm. and sometimes you want just good old comfort food and mm -hmm. and I think there's Every place has a little yeah, bit of that, or you'll just find yeah. what, what suits you. Yeah, yeah, that's great. Thank you so much for taking You're time welcome. today. You've given us some wonderful ideas of what's available here with the Smithton, right here near our studio, and then in Lidditz with the Swiss Woods beautiful places and to come to see both of you and your smiling faces and your personality is what really makes the place and, and that's uh, important for everybody to realize. So thanks, thanks so much. Thank you. Thanks thank so you much. for having us. And thank you for joining us. I'm Diane Dayton with Behind the Lines and remember keep looking behind the lines and you might be surprised what you find. Mm -hmm.